who is she? Oh, hello and welcome back to another video. For today, I'm just gonna do a makeup tutorial. I actually did that yesterday and it turned out really well. Another thing that I may be doing today is trying out this new Hourglass concealer. I'm a little scared because I thought, I think I got, I think I got the wrong shade. This looks very light, but let me see. I feel like it's fine. So we're going to do the foxy eye trend. Everyone has been doing this. To go with that makeup look, I'm going to take these two and I'm gonna pull it up. You got yourself a facelift. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna tie with this like really thin hairband. My regular base was just no foundation, just a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm, gonna be, I'm using this Morphe M439 to just buff this into my skin. Let's give this bad boy a try. I heard really good things about it. Um, I have a friend who actually got it, CC. Um, and it's funny because she didn't like the color at first and then she just did her makeup a little bit and I was like, wow, it looks really good. It looks, you look very airbrushed. But I think it was because of a NARS powder, which I got after she suggested. So I'm gonna see how this performs and if it's too light, uh, we may need to go in with another one, so. At first, um, it's very high coverage. I think I kind of overdid it, so. Oh, we're starting out this tutorial just like killing it, killing it. I think it's fine, the color. I mean, it is more like a highlight color at this point, but it does look really nice. It's very full coverage. I could have used maybe half of this. So I'm going to use in other parts of my face where you'd typically highlight instead of using more product. All right, so final thoughts on the Hourglass Concealer. Oh, by the way, the shade I got was cotton. I could have gone, I think, for the sepia shade, but um, it's very full coverage. It's not on the cheaper side, and um, it doesn't feel heavy on your skin, so that's a good thing. And it dries pretty nicely. I would suggest to not put a lot of product. You don't need a lot, which is funny because I've been not using a lot of concealer lately, but... I'm going to actually move on into the eyes, which is the focus of this video. Here we come. All right, so I'm going to start with Aura. So I'm going to start with this guy. Oh, I'm going to use this Eco Tools brush. Uh, I use my fingers first, but I want to just a little bit more precision. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's super subtle. Moving on, now we're gonna go into Ritual and Matte. So I'm gonna use this one here. And for that, I'm gonna use a small brush. This is the Morphe E36. This is an important thing because sometimes we don't know, sometimes we forget that the placement of your brush can really change how you apply the shadow. So I'm gonna, pl I'm just gonna dip the top and I'm gonna go into my crease. And I'm being very, very gentle when I'm doing this. I'm not like really putting a lot of pressure. And if this happens, which like this one, it was better in this one. I got a little bit too much product. Don't worry, because you're going to buff it anyway. So 
So now what I'm doing is I'm not going to put any more product. I'm just going to buff a little bit just to create some sort of um, soft look. Okay, so it should look something like this. Um, I don't do, I don't really worry about precision. <laughs> Maybe I should, but I'm not a makeup artist too, so keep that in mind. It's just something that I've done that I like, and and I'm trying to find other brushes. I just took another brush. This is the E17. There's no product. I'm just going to buff it. So going back into the palette, I'm gonna go into Soothe uh, Matte. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit over my crease where I went in with the darker shade. Changing brushes again. You don't need all these brushes. I feel like if you're going to do this look, you do need a smaller detail brush, but Honestly, like one or two should be fine. Um, and some people just use like a crease brush to do it. So I'm gonna go in with another brush. This is the M506. Just because this the bristles are a little um, softer than the other one. The ones the other one was a little bit more um, dense, and I want to do more of a soft look. So I'm gonna I just change brushes and I'm gonna go into soothe again, matte, and um, just lightly smoke this out all right so now let's move on to the actual wing um and i'm gonna go i'm gonna use this morphe e29 any angle brush like this would work um and i'm gonna go into ritual again so essentially you're just using like three shades of this palette so I like to stamp first and then I create the line. So because I want the look to be super lifted, um, I just cleaned up a little bit that side. Just to add a little bit more of a smoky look, I'm going to go into Memory in Matte. This is a very pigmented black, so I would suggest to go in light with these. With this. Go in light with this shade. I think I'm happy with the wing. Next up, let's use this inner I use this for my inner corner highlight. This is a Morphe 3 321. Um, and I'm gonna go into girl. Fuck. I need to clean my my hands. Hold on. You hold on. We're not right. I'm there. gonna use this flat brush from um do you call this a flat brush? This calls all over shadow. Is a Sephora brush? I'm gonna go into Aura Metallic Shade, this one. And I'm gonna place this more in the inner corner just to add some sheen. It's super, super subtle. So now I'm going to actually extend a little bit the inner corner. So I'm going to go into Ritual with the angle brush again. Like some people use a eyeliner to do this step. I don't have a brown eyeliner. I don't want to use black. So I'm just going to use the shadow. It will fade throughout the day. I mean, it won't stay in place because it's a shadow and it's in your inner corner, but I don't think it matters. Not to me, at least. I'm going to go into Soothe uh, Matte. I'm just going to do my bottom lash now.
I'm using this Milani Brow and Eye Highlighters in my waterline. It just makes you look awake and your eyes look bigger. So I love that look. Um, it's a look. All right, so it's the 115th time that I'm changing where my camera is throughout this video, so I apologize, but just want to make sure you guys are having the best view. So going back to the mascara, I just finished my eyes now. Um, I messed up a little bit on the uh, bottom lashes, I'm gonna, but I'm going to let it dry. And I used the combination. I went in first with this Pat McGrath um, Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is a travel size that I got in also for rewards. And... Then I went in with a Kush um, mascara from Milk Makeup. And I won't talk through these, these products because it's what I use all the time. So I don't think it makes sense. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Hold on, I don't want to show my messy bedroom. <laughs> this is like our lift eye, foxy eye look. Look, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, outfit, I'm wearing this long dress and I'm gonna, I need to run out. I may come back just to sign off properly because I gotta go, um, but yeah. All right, guys, so this is the final look, like the foxy eyes look. Um, I just recorded this in different lighting so you can see a little bit better. I did go outside for a little bit, so um, I didn't retouch or anything. This is what's look. Oh, God, girl. This is what looks like. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you like the look, if you would recreate it. I mean, lots of people are posting if you look foxy eyes. You're going to get this and i mentioned at the beginning of the video that i have that like hair pulled up just for lift i'm gonna show you the dress that i'm wearing because i'm obsessed with it it's amazing so we love um and it's probably gonna be part of a haul but i can't help myself and i'm just gonna show it so just give me one second while i get my tripod because we're doing this a lot okay alone all by myself all right, so this is the dress that I am wearing today. It's actually really cold, so I put a huge jacket to go outside and pick up a mask that I got from a local shop. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys. I, I have mentioned that star before here on my YouTube channel, but yeah, this is Love Day. Um, I love supporting her. I, it's a vintage shop, but she sells custom jewelry and things that are not necessarily vintage and she partnered with a cleaners here in Astoria as well to sell some masks so you know given the current situation we don't know when things are going to end I wanted to support her I also thought this was like a really good thing to have for now it's super cute and it's like homemade and you know you're supporting immigrants more closer look the makeup Why do my wings are never the same? I'll never understand. I'm gonna fix this a little bit better, but yeah. I'm gonna do the pose that everyone does. <laughs> All right, so there's a couple ways that you can actually style this dress. This is just with the sleeves out and up, but you can also pull it up. There's a little elastic thing here which really stays in place. And you can wear it like this on a hotter day if you feel like it. Apologies for those boxes. I have to clean today, okay? 
Um, and another way of wearing it is off the shoulders because there's like elastic everywhere. And it's just the most comfortable thing. I feel like it flatters everyone, this dress. Size-wise, I got this in extra small because I did not want a lot of fabric around my hips. Um, but it really depends. I mean, I could have gone with a small because it, it is a little tight on my chest. Not too much because I don't have big boobs or anything like that. But love it. I'm not really happy with this wing. I just realized that I'm just, like, I just don't love it. There you go. So all I did was just like angle a little bit more here. So it's like similar than this one. Yeah, like it better. We like it better. Hold on, I'm gonna like take thumbnail pictures now because I never have good thumbnails, never. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Like, share, subscribe, the whole thing. So here it was editing my video and I never actually said goodbye properly. So I did just say like, share, subscribe, the whole thing. Uh, but anyway, it was thank you for watching and I'll come back with another video soon, which I don't know which one will be, but that's okay. That's how, that's how we roll over here. We just figure out. Bye.